I'm going to talk to you guys about taurine. Taurine is a molecule of nutrient whose name is widely known, but scarcely is the science well understood by the general population. So what I'm going to do here is explain that science, the health science, the health benefits of taurine to you. Taurine has promise for athletic performance. In fact, it's been shown to enhance athletic performance for the prevention of cardiovascular disease through multiple mechanisms and possibly for psychiatric disorders such as anxiety, depression, and even psychosis and schizophrenia. In this video, I will review some of the evidence supporting these applications of taurine and of taurine supplementation. Taurine is found only in milk Sorry, it's found only in meat, with vegans and vegetarians having lower concentrations of taurine in their blood, urine, and breast milk than omnivores. Taurine was shown in a 2018 meta-analysis of 10 randomized controlled trials to improve endurance exercise performance. A meta-analysis is a collection of studies that you pool together to see if you can see if there's a, a, a net benefit, a net effect in all of these studies put together into one basically larger study called the meta-analysis. And a randomized controlled trial is simply where you take a group of people, you randomly split this group into uh, of people into two groups, one receiving the treatment, one receiving a sugar pill, a placebo, and then you see if the sugar pill or the placebo compares similar to the uh, treatment. And if it compares similar to the treatment, then there's no benefit, there's no effect of the treatment. But if the treatment causes a change compared to the sugar pill, a change in the outcome of interest, then you know that the supplement or drug works. And in this case, as I mentioned, Torin was shown in a meta-analysis of 10 such randomized control trials all pulled together to improve endurance exercise performance. So that's pretty remarkable and that's something that most people don't know. This, and this was shown in 2018. In 2020, another meta-analysis of 12 randomized controlled trials showed a reduction in blood pressure, blood triglycerides, and blood cholesterol. All three of these are important in determining and causing cardiovascular disease risk. So a reduction in blood pressure, blood triglycerides, and blood cholesterol indicates that if there's no bad effects of taurine on anything else that might cause cardiovascular disease, it indicates that taurine might help to prevent cardiovascular disease by improving these biomarkers, these metrics that determine cardiovascular disease. So it is a benefit, a potential benefit to preventing cardiovascular disease. Now, interestingly, it, the same improvements have also been shown in rats, in mice, in hamsters, in guinea pigs, and in rabbits. Altogether, this is strong evidence virtually conclusive that the improvements in lipids and in blood pressure that I just mentioned earlier, the triglycerides and the cholesterol, these improvements seen in the meta-analysis are real because sometimes there's some meta-analyses that indicate an effect where there's not really an effect. We aren't completely sure always, but because this is confirmed by these animal studies in these five separate species, rats, mice, hamsters, guinea pigs, and rabbits, you see the same effect. It's a strong, strong indication that taurine does the same thing almost certainly in humans, given the human evidence also exists. So that, in my opinion, is a slam dunk that taurine improves blood lipids and improves, uh, improves blood pressure. Yet another meta-analysis, this one involving 188 subjects, showed an improvement in both systolic and diastolic blood pressures, the two different kinds of blood pressures measured in the doctor's office. If you know, say, you have a blood pressure of 120 over 80, the first number is the systolic, the second number is the diastolic blood pressure. 
Both of these were improved after taurine supplementation compared to placebo in this other new meta-analysis involving 188 people, also recently published. And at least one randomized controlled trial showed clear evidence for improvement of vascular function compared to placebo. Additionally, two small trials in humans suggest that the effect on the vasculature just mentioned, both in terms of the blood pressure effects and the improvements in vascular function, may be mediated by a reduction in circulating catecholamines, stress hormones, such as norepinephrine and epinephrine. This is supported by animal studies that report very, very large reductions in circulating catecholamines, epinephrine and norepinephrine. Again, the animal evidence reflects the human evidence. It's a further support that the human evidence is legitimate and real. Just as a side note, in all cases, the human evidence is the gold standard and the starting point. We can use then use the animal evidence when we don't have enough human evidence or when the human evidence may not be rigorous enough when we don't have what's called a phase three clinical trial and we don't have phase three clinical trial for taurine. We have many small phase two clinical trials. In those cases, you may then take the animal evidence and if the animal evidence convincingly shows the same thing across many different species and in many different studies, you may then infer that it is likely, despite the lack of a phase three clinical trial, only having phase two small clinical trials, phase two like small clinical trials, you may then conclude that these are indicating, a, an in fact, a true and legitimate effect, despite being small. That's why I'm using this animal evidence to support the human evidence. Let's go on. One study in rats published in 2017, and a lot of this stuff is very recent because a lot of uh, the taurine research has really taken off for the last couple decades. One study suggested an anti-anxiety or antidepressive effect of taurine. Again, again, in this case, norepinephrine was reduced, which makes sense. It's a stress hormone. It gets you amped up. Maybe it causes anxiety. So if you reduce the stress hormone, you might get an anti-anxiety effect. And this was observed according to the specific behavioral assays that they used in these rats in this 2017 study. All of these findings suggest that in addition to the antihypertensive effects, the effects on blood pressure, which again might benefit cardiovascular disease, there may be some benefit of taurine supplementation for psychiatric disorders like anxiety or depression. Indeed, a, a recent, albeit small, I think, uh, about 121 subjects, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a recent, albeit small, RCT, randomized controlled trial, in patients with first episode psychosis showed a substantial improvement in taurine treated patients compared to placebo. Hmm. So, question. Could a higher taurine intake be responsible for the increased sense of well-being that some people anecdotally report when switching from a vegan diet to an omnivore diet? Hmm. We don't have the evidence to know, but it is an interesting possibility in my opinion. Now, I'm a predominantly plant-based eater, and I want to become completely plant-based at some point. I supplement with taurine every day. Uh, I'm not telling anybody to eat meat. Um, I'm just saying that maybe taurine, which is from meat, might have health benefits, despite some of the negative aspects and other ways of meat. Many foods have a combination of benefits and things that are not so good. And in this case, taurine may be one of the benefits of meat consumption. Okay, so that's the video. Uh, if you liked that and you liked the research that I presented, please click subscribe, like, share this video with your friends, uh, or hit the donate button. And the link to my website and the place where you can donate is going to be at the bottom of the caption. Thanks for watching.